Hello everyone and welcome back. Finding motivation every single day for homemaking is no joke. But a very few simple habits can really help us increase our productivity and do better every day. Problems and bottlenecks are the biggest demotivators in life. Compromising on even the smallest of issue can pull us back to begin any chore. And so, I always focus on finding solutions to whatever problem I face to increase my productivity. Monsoons and winters bring that extra task of managing laundry which I totally detest. I have a big and bulky drying rack which cannot really accommodate that extra laundry time to time. But finding Opus extra large foldable clothes drying stand from Bathla Home Products was really a perfect solution to this problem. The ergonomic design of this rack ensures that it can be used outdoors as well as indoors. Built with high grade power coated steel, the rack is corrosion resistant to beat any climate condition and even offers a one year warranty. Built-in large trolley wheels with anti-slip shoes is an added bonus for easy mobility of this drying rack to dry garments even in a small space. Closet often starts smelling during monsoons and winters due to dampness. So here is a small tip to keep that odor away. Keep a glycerin based soap between your garment and leave a nice fragrance in the entire cupboard. But to be true, what works best is ironing the clothes during wet weather as it keeps the odor away but also helps in disinfecting the garments and maintain their sheen for long. Bathla Express Ace Pro foldable ironing board keeps my garments super happy these days. Aluminized ironing surface utilizes the latest in heat transfer material technology to reflect heat and save up to 40% electricity and time. Anti-skid shoes for a better surface grip and stability and a heat resistant iron holder are the impressive safety features of this board which comes with a 2 year warranty. Petal shaped boards helps in effective reach and gives a great convenience while ironing and a strategically placed wire manager keeps the wire out of our way. You can use the coupon code TALKINGMOM10 to avail 10% discount on the showcase products on the Batla website and do check the description box for more details. You all know I am a to-do list person, but making unrealistic goals every single day puts me in a very pressurized state and so, instead of doing my work and being productive, I stay in a worrisome state of rushing into things. The pressure unknowingly comes down on the family and also reduces my overall productivity. So I decided to go easy with my to-do and instead of wishing to do everything in one day or pick heavy duty projects, I keep my to-do a lot simple and achievable and make small goals for the day. Yes. It might look like things are moving slow, but meeting those small accomplishments gives a boost of confidence and peace to be able to keep going for the other tasks. Since laundry management was on the agenda today, I kept the other house chores in my to-do very very simple. It's been a while since I took care of my plants. So to keep the work light, today I chose to do some digging and pruning of the plants. Taking care of plants is like therapy to me, so I picked this task deliberately to not feel overburdened for the day. This might be a very small tick in my to-do, but I felt good for the fact that I did something with whole heart instead of just rushing to do things half-heartedly. Because at times, it's not always about working, but about outcome as well. Maybe pick a small corner of the house to decorate. Make just one simple dish for lunch. Clean just one single shelf of your cupboard, but do it with full conviction. And you will see how happy one feels in easing out the task this way, that the zeal to work more increases. 
House chores will keep adding no matter how many we tend to finish. But overburdening ourselves will pull that motivation down. So going slow and steady is the best way to be productive. At times, even though we make our to-do small and pick lesser tasks, what if the task itself is too big to handle? We again end up standing at the same square. The sight of not being able to finish our task feels very overwhelming. So the best way is to break those bigger tasks into smaller goals and take baby steps instead. Festive season is coming and I know we all have one or the other work added up in our to-do list. Deep cleaning, extra cooking, house decor, market visits and what not. So how about we break them one piece at a time and work in best of our capacity? Knowing that Dhere can get up anytime soon, instead of cleaning the entire living room in one day, picking one small section at a time looks more achievable and fulfilling to me. So today, I decided to deep clean just my carpet instead of wishing to clean everything in this room. Smart work is more important than hard work, especially in the situation of time crunch. Cooking, kids and home management cannot be compromised, but instead of not doing anything and sulking, I would rather take this mini step as it will slowly bring me closer to cleaning the entire room sooner than later. Some small things can really give us a big push of motivation. I like dressing up and I really do. But juggling with kids and house chores holds me back from dressing up nicely many times. So on days when I feel low or less motivated, I make sure I get myself into nice clothes just to feel good for the rest of the day. This small mindset shift helps in bringing the best out of us and kicks that productive zeal back in. I remember doing the same when I used to go to office and the productivity level those days used to hit really high. Putting up a nice dress, maybe a little makeup, wearing your favorite perfume can really make a lot of a difference in your mood and the productivity level at that very point in time. Talking of another letdown of a productive mindset is comparing ourselves with others or even by our own selves. Every day is not same and so is every situation. Motivation comes like a wave. Someday we can really overachieve what we decide and amaze ourselves. But someday it's hard to even cook that one single meal, leave apart doing a full festive prep. But is that wrong? <laughs> I will say no. Doing what I can do best in the given situation and mindset without comparing with others or even my own past self is a habit that pulls me up and helps me keep going. With festivities approaching, I have been missing Karthik a lot lately. And so I took some time off from my regular self and did what I could do best in the present scenario and mindset. And I feel it is totally okay. For Ganesh Chaturthi, I wanted to keep it very simple this time. And so I made Sattu Ke Pede for the Bhog. It is literally a three ingredient sweet with an added benefit of Sattu, which we know is very high in protein. I simply dry roasted Sattu powder and added Bura and ghee into it to bind everything together. More than a body, productivity is a mindset game. But I have the power to fine tune my mind and give self motivation instead of a negative comparison and creating self doubts. I am capable of doing a lot of things, but maybe not right now. And this habit of non comparing and self assurance helps in getting my productivity back. While taking inspirations and getting motivated is a good idea, 
but feeling sad just because we are comparing affects our productivity badly instead focusing on doing things what we do best and improving that best for even better is getting one step closer to what we aim for i will garnish these pedas with some saffron paste and dry fruits because garnishing makes food looks more appetizing to bappa i will offer the bhog to ganpati first and then excite my little ganesha with the same It's been days that I'm constantly working on home, kids, my work and other requirements. And so hitting that monotony is obvious. Especially when we work with routines. So even the smallest change can work like wonder in breaking that same routine of every day. When things starts getting boring, it's hard to keep up the interest in those tasks and be productive. Bringing small changes in day-to-day -day life helps in getting that excitement back and brings the best productivity out. So today, I decided to pick Ruthi from school and go to a friend's place for a lunch and play date. I feel for a homemaker and a parent taking breaks is easier said than done even if we are in the middle of enjoyment the mind always remains engaged in all the things that we have on our plate and so taking a mindful break and for once forgetting everything becomes really really important this mindful break helps in reminding that we took a well deserving rest and have recharged our batteries fully This simple act of mindful break brings a rush of motivation to come back into action and be super productive. Today, since I was making an attempt to prepare myself for the more demanding days ahead and bring my productive self back, I wanted to take a thorough mindful break that can really satisfy me and give me a feeling of break in true sense. I know I have a plenty of work to do tomorrow but let's really just deal with it tomorrow because then only I'll know the worth of this break and feel really pumped up for the next day This very moment of enjoying a little movie time with my kids help me in being involved with them and forget about other worries We all were super happy to be able to enjoy a fun filled day together that again ended up on a happy note and i know tomorrow i'll make that fresh start without any regret of taking break i am so glad to have known these small habits and implement them to remain productive in one way or the other i hope these habits will give you also some motivation and inspiration to increase productivity in best of your capacity give this video a thumbs up and join the talking mom community if you really enjoyed watching this video share your motivational thought in the comment section and join me on instagram for some daily life updates thank you once again for being till end and i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned and stay happy